Oleoresin tapping was historically an, an incredibly important industry in this part of the United States. At one time, it was, you know, employed thousands, tens of thousands of people. It's a, a renewable resource. The turpentine and rosin uh, is a substitute for petroleum products. So as uh, crude oil gets more scarce and more expensive, some of these natural products like uh, pine oleoresin may, may see a comeback. It's a resource that's only possible to do it commercially right now from in the U.S. from slash pine. And slash pine, of course, is the strength of the forest in Florida. And so we really are in a position to be able to capitalize on all of this existing investment in stand and timber um, to rapidly go to a large scale to, to provide, you know, renewable, not only renewable chemicals, but renewable biofuels. The traditional methods that were developed by the Forest Service in Alusti, Florida, um, basically are, too, are cost too much. There's too much labor involved and the, the product has some degraded quality. What we're interested in doing in, this, in the current project is, is making it feasible for landowners to be able to tap their trees in a cost-effective way um, to add an additional value stream to an existing um, plantation that already um, is present. We developed this uh, tree drilling machine that mounts on a tractor or skid steer loader like we're working with today. It's uh, hydraulic powered. There's three drilling units. Uh, the hydraulic motors turn the drills at about 1500 RPMs and then a hydraulic piston pushes the drill bits into the tree. And after the, the boreholes are treated with the chemical, we uh, insert a tube into the large middle hole and attach a pla the plastic bag to that and we've been getting about 80 to 90 trees per hour uh, which is roughly twice as many trees per hour as a crew can do with hand power tools. So by using this borehole method and trying to increase the yield that we get per tree and lower the cost of actually getting it out from the trees, um, we hope to be able to go to a scale very rapidly that would in, in fact enable not only the existing industry but the new developing biofuels industry. The ultimate goal is to develop a, a cost-effective system that would become commercial. And ultimately, we an anticipate the first biofuel products will be uh, jet fuel. My 10-year vision is that landowners would start to go out tap now. They would be replanting with trees that were genetically improved to increase their yield. Um, and then the, the industry would scale um, from there.